because my house is 46 years old. So all that area there, just in here, this is two coats of paint. I have to go in with a brush and dab it all into all the little crevices. It's tedious. If I had to do a humongous wall, I'd die. So I went through that one. You can see the areas where I had to go through and do that. And I'll probably have to hit it again. This looks pretty good. It's still drying, but now I gotta cover all of this with doing that technique to get into all the little grooves. So <laughs> yay, so fun. Okay, that was not fun. Filling in all the little holes like I showed you guys. But I got done. So then I got out some rub and buff and I rub and buffed this frame. It was more of like a brown oak. I rub and buffed this one and I rub and buffed this, that, this one. It's just a little tube of rub and buff. You can find it on Amazon. It was gold and I just put on gloves and used like a little sponge. So I've been collecting picture frames, prints and some mirrors because that's what I'm gonna put on the wall. So I'm going to play around and get my gold gallery wall hung on the black paint. So let me do this. absolutely love how this turned out I wanted to do you know a gallery wall of prints and mirrors and just open frames and that's exactly what you guys see I'm obsessed and I absolutely love how it turned out so everything you see minus this print and this print and they're both oil painted canvases have been thrifted this one I swapped with a girlfriend she painted this and I will link her down below um, in the description box. And then I sent her like a canvas painting that she loved of mine. And then I also bought that from her, but this one is really old. The frame's kind of broken here and there, but this is like an antique and it wasn't cheap, but the rest have all been thrifted. And I'm talking a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. So, I love it. It's exactly what I imagined, only to me, it's better than I imagined. It really makes a statement. And then I went ahead and kept this um, dark to match the wall. It was kind of a gray color. I just think it blends better with the wall. So I went ahead and painted that black too. This is the next thing I'm gonna paint black is my front door. I want that to be black just on this side. The other side, I'll keep it that color. And then I have made a few other changes in the living room and I will go around and show you. I added this plate up here. This lamp is new and I thrifted it. It came just like this. And then I added this here. I added this thrifted book. It's on birds, it's on birds, trees and flowers. So that's over here. This little area over here is new. I thrifted this shelf and it came this color. I did sand it a little bit more, but I love it. I added books, some flower frogs. Everything's thrifted on here except for this and the little pots, but I've had those. Down here I have some thrifted books inside of a ironstone serving bowl. It didn't come with the ladle or the lid, but I loved doing this. So that's new over here. This is gonna get chalk painted white and then I'm gonna chip it. So that's the next thing I need to do in the living room. And then I changed up my mantle. This 
This little cubby is also a thrifted find, and so are all the teacups and the little saucers. These little rose knobs I found on Amazon, and I will link them. And then these are so precious. These little butter tabs. I think that's what it's called. They're super old. You can see the crazing, the browning. You guys, I got all of these. What's here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. I got all of these for five bucks at my thrift store and I just stuck them in the drawer. Looks super cute. But yeah, all the dishes and little cubby all have been thrifted. So I have these books. These books are super old, like 1920. It's missing number one, and I don't know how many are in the series, but they're gorgeous. Look at the age. Nineteen, nineteen twenty nine was the last time it was printed. I'd like to find number one, and then see if there's more. I haven't dug in. I haven't done any like research on those books. This piece I thrifted today. I know it's ironstone because it has a stamp on the bottom, and then I have it in front of my antique mirror, and this architectural. Um, cathedral piece. This is also new, this antique or vintage jewelry box. I chalk painted it white and chipped it. So you open it. I got this on eBay. So I found this on eBay and there's four drawers. My daughter and I say it's totally creepy, but I still love it because when you open it down here, Yes, it sounds like it's straight out of a horror movie, but I love it. <laughs> and then this thrifted cast iron oil lamp is missing the hurricane or the flute. And then I have this one here. Everything on my mantle, aside from the flowers, has all been thrifted. And then moving down, I also thrifted this little cart. It's an old vintage little caddy cart. It did not come with the cloth. It did not come with the cloth liner. I had that from a laundry basket I got years ago. I just hung on to it knowing I'd use it one day and then I just filled it with these flowers. You guys ready to see my favorite thing that I just picked up off of Facebook Marketplace? There it is. If you guys follow on Instagram, I've shared a bunch already and I keep saying I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna move these. These are antique table legs and I have not found a place for them yet. So let me just put them right here for now, out of the way. These shutters were in the natural color that they came in. They weren't stained or painted. They're actually the doors, both of them, that go to my little cabinet here. My son made me in wood shop his senior year. He never got around to finishing the doors on the cabinet. And I told him one day I would use them for something. And so I took my candle sconces and I painted this three different colors of paint to sort of tie in with the curio cabinet. I added like a 
grayish white and then like a white and then kind of a brown and then the buttercream color. And then I just, like I said, mounted the sconces on those doors and hung them up. single thing you see in this cabinet has also been thrifted. This is the only piece that was given to me by my mother. It was my great grandmother's and then she gave it to her daughter and then my grandmother gave it to my mom who gave it to me when I started collecting milk glass. But every single thing has been thrifted. These two little boxes I did get on Etsy but they're like antique that's an apothecary bottle little box. And that's just another little, I don't know, trinket box, if you will. But I absolutely adore this piece. It's totally my style. And it's absolutely beautiful. enjoyed all the new changes to my living room. I pretty much am 100% in love with everything that um, has been added and changed around. It will look great when that piece is chalk painted white and I chip it because now I kind of have like a cream colored piece. I have some black furniture and then the white so it will look good once that's done white. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure have enjoyed making these changes to my living room and updating it and just making it more and more me. I'm pretty much in love with everything that I've done recently. It will be great when that other cabinet is chalk painted and chipped. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel. Until I see you guys again, God bless and happy morning, noon or night and take care.